Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. They're out here trying to ruin free speech or something, I guess. <laughs> no, dude. Is, is that, that what, they're, what they're doing? Is that what they're doing out is here? Is that what they're doing out here? So, uh. You can't get away. You can't say nothing nowadays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I don't I don't use Telegram, uh, but like Telegram's a popular like messaging app, right? It, is. it says uh, it's not it's not by default it's not encrypted. Like there's another app, Signal, that is fully encrypted, so like police or law enforcement can't really read the chat logs or whatever. It's a very like six, they sell it as a secure app. Yeah. Telegram is not that way by default, but you can turn on encryption to make your your yes. nefarious doings unknown i mean or you just want a privacy right which is important to some people right if and you're sexting with your girl you don't want like the feds to be like why are you saying that dirty thing to her but look i'm gonna keep it a bug jones the patriot act patriot act as we've said before on this podcast is one of the greatest things that has ever happened in this country and one of the worst things that have ever happened to this country yeah because it can you can twist it to use it how you want it yeah because you yeah you're ne nothing you ever say is private all right ever again right. So what we're talking about is the Telegram CEO. Uh, he was arrested in France. I can read a little bit of it from the story if you like. Yeah, well, like it, it was really interesting how he got arrested though, because mm -hmm. he he they had they had they had him up on charges in France that were only like valid in France, mm -hmm. and he happened to do for some reason he did like a layover on his private jet in France and they grabbed him. Like that's the only reason they arrested him is because like he had never been going to France cause he knew he could get arrested and he uh, happened to like stop through on a flight and they grabbed his so, ass. So he was in an unextraditable country. Right. Yeah. So we're talking about Pavel Durov who was arrested near Paris over the week, over the weekend, uh, as a broad investigation to the criminal activity on his platform, which is Telegram. Um, the, uh, the Russian-born entrepreneur who founded the online communication tool was charged on Wednesday in France with a wide range of crimes for failing to prevent illicit activity on the app and barred him from leaving the country. His indictment was a rare move by legal authorities to hold uh, a top technology executive personally liable for the behavior of the users on a major messaging platform, escalating the debate over the road of tech companies in online speech, privacy, and security, and the limits of their responsibility. He's a 39-year-old man, and he was de uh, detained by French authorities on, on Saturday after a flight from Azerbaijan? Azerba Azerbaijan? I don't know. And he was charged on Wednesday with complicity in managing an online platform to enable illegal transactions by an organized group, which could lead up to a sentence of 10 years in prison. Yeah, and people are saying, like, it's that age-old debate, like, are you responsible for what people do with your products? Like, they t it was, like, talking about, like, having, like, is Reddit responsible for what people do on Reddit? And, and to a point, I say they no... But, like, if if you're allowing people to, like, swap child porn or traffic drugs through your app and you're not doing anything to stop it, prostitution, um, Which, are, are you, is he, should he personally be accountable? I mean, look, let's put it like this. If you were personally held accountable for every indictment or every count of those actions, then he would never see the light of day ever again. So I feel like 10 years is a light sentence to at least threaten him with, or you obviously give him an ultimatum that things need to change on your platform and you need to be more, that you're going to be held culpable for people doing crimes. You well, can't, what's that? Well, what I was going to say is I think what they're trying to do is tell people it, it's, I think it's, I think it's more of like a peacock feather situation where it's like, Hey, if you're going to create a platform and you want it to be encrypted so people can't be found out that we're going to hold you accountable for that. It's like, that's what people are saying. It's more of a play to like discourage people from doing encrypted messaging apps and stuff than about what they're doing on the app. Does that make sense what I'm saying? 
I mean, it does make sense, but on the same note, I'd have to say is that I don't think this guy should be beholden to any different set of rules and, and regiments that any other owner of a platform should be held to. If this were Twitter, if this were Facebook, if this were, you know, like if this were any other app, we'd still be like, you can't have prostitution being the main focus. You can't have drug trafficking to be the main focus. We can't have a wealth of people trading uh, child p PA around here. We can't have that. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, look, the guy who who created the Silk Road went to jail because people were selling drugs and doing other. Sh exactly. Yeah. I mean, look, man, these people are not stupid. They know everybody knows that the secret is to go to the dark web or the secret is to use use Telegram, and you're getting found out. Well, if you create an app that's like super secure and encrypted, like you know that people who that are doing nefarious things are going to use it. Um, if you create an app, people are going to do that. Like right. Twitter is ha Twitter has already been called out for the uh, for the amount of adult inter adult material on their app, and some of that being you know super illegal stuff, and they've they got to make those changes. Like Facebook doesn't do that; they're they're on top of things. They have people who are literally paid to scour every piece of material that hit Facebook, and they have seen some horrific shit. Oh, like, people try to sneak bad stuff on every app. Exactly. Yeah. But, no, like, the people who have to scour these, they see horrific things, man. They see everything from, like, the violent beheadings. Or Reddit. They see everything from violent beheadings. Like, there's moderators for a reason to try to circumvent that stuff. Right, yeah. But so, somebody's having to see that, like, CP and those really nasty, awful... Uh, violent images and all that other stuff. But you're not going to see that on Reddit. But whereas Telegram is almost synonymous with the drug culture, the prostitution, the CP, just constantly. So, like, that, I don't see any real, like, I don't see any, I don't feel like he's being treated differently. I just feel like he's getting the same treatment that anybody else who creates a social media app would get. So, yeah, good. As far as I'm concerned, I mean, if it, yeah, people are, people are just saying that it's more of a, a play to like, uh, discourage privacy, bro. Get the, come on, man. Privacy, saying, privacy is cool. All I'm saying is that's what people are saying. You can do whatever you want in your house. If you're in your house right now and you're doing cocaine, that's fine. If you have ordered a, an escort in your own house, fine. If you're touching a then you probably need to go to jail, all right? You, in fact, you definitely need to go to jail. But when you're doing something on the internet, we need regulation on the internet, man. So I don't know. It's already like a damn cesspool of yeah. crazy. If you're asking me to feel sympathy for the devil, I'm sorry. I'm never going to do that, <laughs> my man. That's just never going to happen. So I can't, I can't be on board with it. I feel like he deserves everything he gets. If he gets time in jail, take that shit. And then, you know, when you get out, fix up your program or your application. But, yeah, uh, but what if they're like, fix up your program, we'll drop the charges. Good. That I mean, honestly, like the guy has been avoiding arrest for a long time. So I'm sure that probably comes into play when they're deciding what type of actions to take against them. But yeah, if you fix the app, then they're like, cool. Like you can play dumb for so long, but we, everybody knows what telegrams for. All right. For shady stuff. For shady stuff. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You out so here. You, yeah. You out here buying sex. You out here buying drugs. But on the same note, that would be the death of the platform. It would be. It's like when Tumblr stopped allowing nudes. I was seriously thinking that when you said that. That's awesome. But I think they reversed that. I think they, I think they did. I too. think they because everyone they were like that was like when OnlyFans was like, "Hey, we're not gonna get out of my head, man. Get out of my head." I mean, they're all the same. That's exactly the same thing. I was just going to. I can't even make jokes anymore. Jonas making all my jokes. For me. <laughs> I'm a joke boy. Yeah. So, but, but it is. It's literally that. So it would have been the death of the platform, which would have been, you know, I could see why he doesn't want that to occur. But on the same note, you're just biding your time. It's like uh, when the Pirates Bay, 
Ah, ah, beat you to pirate. the punch. It's like when the Pirates Bay guys got finally arrested. Silk Road Pirate Bay. Yeah. yeah, they didn't want. They didn't want. To, so I don't see any difference. I'm all for it. I hope he gets all the time that he he's earned because obviously you've just been allowing these things. I mean, to he's occur. already a billionaire. What the hell does it matter at this point? Exactly. If I made an app and I became a billionaire, and then they're like, "You got to take away the main purpose of your app," and I'm like, "I'm like." I got a billion dollars later. Shut I'll it down. A new app. Yep. I'll take my three years in prison. Shut it down. Especially if they tell me to shut it down. I don't got to go to jail. Oh, yeah. I would have shut the thing down. <laughs> Just, all right, bye. Yep. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> got my billions. Later. Bro, I'm not going to lie. My connects would be out of business. And no, I don't. Never mind. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Never mind. That's all the time we have today's episode. Never Please go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We'll be up.